Hey guys, what's up? I'm just gonna do a quick video. Um, the temperature has changed. He's got back in. I had to take my car to get the tire patched. Um, I picked up a nail on my way home from work yesterday. Uh, this is my birthday weekend. My birthday is gonna be on Sunday. So I took today off to rest and relax. And I took, uh, Monday off. So I could just chill, you know? But no, instead I had to go sit for hours getting my tire patched. Now the upside is that I did get some shopping done for grocery shopping and I will be cooking too this weekend probably. My husband's going to be making a bowl cake. I'm going to hang out with my friend Ashley who is next to 84 on Ravelry. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what I finished. I did some spinning. I did some knitting, did some crochet, and um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I work, what I, what I finished. So I don't know if I showed you this hat. It's a knit hat. I did a crochet one, and that hat is with its new owner. The knit one is the brim is loose, and but for somebody like me that got thick hair braids, it's fine. But this is for a guy who it has no hair on his head. He has like a buzz cut short. But uh, it still feels good. Hat feels good. So it's going to go in my donation pile now. And so I finished this orange hat for the hunter who will be supplying me with venison. And so his hat is right here. And it has a, it's, it's knit, all the way knit. It's not one of my, my um, compilations. And I love the way this one, the snug way this one fits. If I was a hat where this would be kind of something that I would want, something that grips your head, but it's not like so tight it's going to drive you crazy. You know, tightness will leave a mark on your forehead. So this turned out a lot better than what I was expecting. This hat was made with um, some black Caron and some gray Caron. And this one is made from Encore Yarn. Um, from Plymouth Yarn Company, my favorite workhorse yarn. It's the uh, knitted worsted weight. Uh, it's seventy-five percent acrylic and twenty-five percent wool. And I still have almost a bin of. Oh, that's right. I forgot the cameras. I'm so used to the cameras on it. So I had a different angle today because I didn't want to take my rig down. I have it set up for when I'm drawing to record when I'm drawing. I've been drawing again, as you've seen for some of the videos I've been posting, so hoping to keep it going. So I, can, I need to get my skills back to the way they used to be. I was getting close, I was getting close, starting to get my confidence back and stuff, and then I just stopped drawing again. Um, so yeah, so those are the two hats. I've been doing a lot of hats because the hats that I, that, you know, I donate to Edmark Foundation, so a lot of hats early in the year were for Edmark Foundation. And then these hats, like, you know, are for specific people and whatnot. So, I made another shawl. And then once again, it was just a um, basic crochet shawl pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have it written down. I just wanted to see if I could, could do it again. And I see some things that might be problems for other people. But if you're someone who freestyle crochets a lot, you won't have any problems with it. So this is a scrap shawl that I did from leftovers from my acrylic yarns. And um, so it's going to have some some Red Heart, some um, Michaels, um, that color smart or color mark yarn. Your complimentary yarn. Um, and this is a real heart, and uh, let me see. And this is some universal yarn right here that was left over from some project I had. And yeah, so I made this one, and on on this one, the trim is the uh, um a combination of the bush stitch, and then um like if I wanted to keep going. I put loops up here, and I could do like a shell board if I wanted to keep going, but this is plenty big enough. So, yeah. So, that's finished. I just need to weave in the ends. And 
And so those are my finished objects. Uh, works in progress. At, I went to Baba Sheep this morning. And I um, started another virus shawl. I'm not sure what number virus shawl that is. I would have to research it, and I don't feel like researching it. So, but I did start another virus shawl this morning. I worked on it while I started at Baba's. So, at Baba's, because it starts here at this center, and it works its way out. So, I did up until, like, this row right here at Baba's. And then the rest is just the, in the car and sitting while I was waiting for them to fix my tire. So, I mean, these things work up super fast, and I could have been further along if I wanted to, but, you know, you have to do things like eat <laughs> and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, but the yarn I'm using is some, um, a bag of yarn I got from the, um, the off band, you know, the band they have that have, like, the, the off yarn and stuff in it. And this yarn, um, feels like the universal yarn that I use um, in a rainbow colorway. That's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. That's how it's balled up. I uh, keep forgetting the camera's up here. I'm so used to the camera being on this side. And it's like I have it this way facing them. So it's like a rainbow color. Um, it's not coming up true to color. Um, maybe it is. So it's a rainbow color. And there was like... um several balls like this is the where I'm at now at this one there was like a at least I think it is mm -hmm. yeah they're getting entangled I need to put them in our own little plastic bag so they don't get all tangled up there we go so this is what's left of the one I'm working on the first ball and that's a, a good size amount so I'm I guess they're about um 200 plus yards uh, in the balls. I'm not sure. You know, you want anywhere from 180 to 210, I would say. Might be more. I am, I'm not the yard ER police and I don't know. But I show, I, I don't know if I showed you this. It's, it was like $6 for one, two, three, four. Yeah, for four balls a yard. It was $6. Which I think that's a pretty damn good deal, considering I'm I'm pretty sure that this is uni universal yarn. It's made in Turkey, wherever it is, because universal yarn was made in Turkey. And if it's not universal yarn, then it's some other yarn company. And it was this is definitely a made in Turkey yarn. It's so freaking soft. Um. So yeah, so that is my active work in progress. Um. After I finish this show, I, it's, this is my cleansers before I start on my brother-in-law's blanket again. And uh, I'm still working on that. That I'm thinking my number four. But I'm still working on that chain. With that, like I said, you have to do that. You have to do that in stages. You just can't You just can't sit down and just work on that thing. It just, it's just, it's just that color. It's just... I gravitate personally towards natural colors and dark colors. Me wearing this is not something I would normally wear because of the yellow, but it has like a lot of brown and grays in it. And it's hand spun. And it's my hand spun. This is the only thing I own that I made with my hand spun. Everything else that I, I wear and stuff is made with acrylic because I like to be able to take it and throw it in the washing machine and keep on rolling. Um, yeah, so, but I, that's one of my challenges is to, to use my hand spun. So, yeah. I would prefer to sell my hand spun because I'm not going to, I'm not hardly going to use it. Uh, just to go ahead and get out of the room, I cleaned up over there some. I mean, it's still a lot of fiber, and I need to just let it go and share my fiber with the world. But it's like every time I plan to like bag stuff up and label it and all this other stuff, something always happens. Like when I got up this morning, I did not expect to find a nail in my tire. And then 
it's just like my day went. Uh, they should have like these street reach people with strong magnets on it. And it just goes around sucking up all these nails and stuff. And then they should have like somebody who smelts them down and make useful objects out of it again. So that the, the metal doesn't get on people's tires and cut their tires and stuff. Or, you know, picking up a nail. This, since I moved to Virginia, to this area of Virginia, I've had one, two, three, four. I've picked up four nails since we've been here. But some people can say, hey, we do, you know, we get nails off. You shouldn't be getting nails all the time in your tires. Um, tires are expensive. And, yeah. And it's, the thing about it was the nail was in the new tire on the car that had, the last time I got a nail, I had to get a whole new tire because it couldn't patch because of where the nail was located at on the tire. Yeah. So, but that's all I'm working Oh, yeah, spinning, spinning, spinning. I am getting ready to move my spinning wheel back over here because I got um, some bamboo I need to start spinning up. But I've been spinning uh, camera, camera. I'm so used to the camera be pointing down this way to, cope, to look at the paper when I'm drawing. So I've been spinning this Malabrigo and I'm on like a uh, icky area. I'm getting to the blue. It's like It was like a little bit of brown, but I'm getting to the blue part of it. I don't remember what colorway that is. The label's in the bottom of the label is in here. Yeah. Hold up. The label's in here with the rest of it. So this is Malabrigo Noob. And the colorway is da -da -da -da. 870 Kandombe. C-A-N-D-O-M-B-E. Kadami. You say Kadami, I say Kanami. But that's the colorway for that Malibu going on spinning on a drop spin. And that's pretty much all that I've got going on. I'm going to let you guys go because i got to get back to working on my, a piece of art I'm working on. My first art commission. So i got to get back to working on that so I can get it finished. And um, and i got to get a tube from the post office on Monday so I can mail it off. So I want you guys to take care, be good to each other, remember, treat people the way you want to be treated. And if everybody did that, the world would be a better place. So take care.